Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing a haul for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I want to preface this video just how I have my other recent videos that um, this is just kind of like Christmas in July. I feel like a lot of sales, a lot of things going on. Just a reminder that I am sharing these things with you, but these are not things that you need. Um, don't feel like I'm saying this cute sweater is so cute. Oh my gosh, you need it. If you are on a no spend, if you are in savings mode, if you, you know, are just, you don't want to go into debt for things like, I 100% support that. So this is not me trying to peddle you to buy stuff to use my links. Of course, I have affiliate links down below in the description box for everything I'm gonna share with you. Um, but you're welcome to shop outside of those links or not shop at all if this is not like the right time for you to be shopping. Okay, so with that said, uh, the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale is one of my favorite sales to shop every year. I have been shopping it for about four or five years now, I would say. I think the first year I did was 2014. Um, and so I budget for this sale every year because I know that there's gonna be items that I love and want to purchase. And so I budget and plan for it every year. Um, some years I end up spending a little more, some years I spend a lot less. It just depends on what they have that year that I'm really interested in. Um, one of the things that I always purchase, and I'm gonna, this is gonna be a try on haul basically. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I purchased. One of the things that I really love to shop for during this sale are jeans because I really, really, really like AG jeans. I like the way that they fit my body. Um, ladies, I think we can all agree that finding jeans that fit us well can be a challenge. Not only that fit our body types well, but then like make your booty look halfway decent, not look like it's sliding down the back of your thighs. It's a struggle. Jeans are a struggle. And so um, I typically will just look for things throughout the year um, from like Old Navy or something like that. But I know that every year I'm going to buy at least one pair, maybe two of AG jeans in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. And these jeans hold up. They last. That's one of the things that I look for in this sale. I also am a basic, basic girl. I just really love sweaters and cardigans. I love, 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 love sweaters and cardigans. So that is really what I go for um, during the sale as well. I don't usually buy a ton of shoes. I only bought one pair of shoes just because, I don't know, shoes have never been my thing. I wear what fits and what I think kind of looks cute with an outfit, but I don't wear a lot of heels at all. I have seven kids that I'm chasing around always. So I'm just, I don't wear like cute wedges all the time and stuff like that. So shoes are not really my thing. So you're not going to see a lot of shoes in this. You're just going to see, I don't know if y'all can see behind me, but you're going to see a lot of like sweaters and cardigans and things like that. Cause that's the kind of stuff that I love. So without further ado, let's get into the try on. I will link down below and the sizes that I ordered things in for you as well as links to them. Okay, so the first piece that I got is this like thermally type top. Um, it's kind of like a waffle knit. Hopefully y'all can see that it's like a waffle. And um, I really, really love this. It is super soft. It just has this little V cut right here. Nothing too revealing. Um, I got a medium in this and this is by the brand Socialite. I think this would be really cute if you wanted to like tuck it in with jeans and out a belt. Um, there's just so many cute ways that you could style this. This is like oatmeal color. And yeah, I just think this is super, super cute for fall. Um, these are the AG jeans. One of the AG jeans that I got, I got two pairs. I love them. I've worn them for like three days, so they're not quite as nicely fitting as they normally are. The third day, my booty starts to stretch them out. But I just really, really like these jeans. They have like a raw edge at the bottom, a raw hem at the bottom, and a little bit of a slit. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, so I really like these jeans. These booties are not from the sale. These are ones I already had. Like I said, I just don't usually buy a lot of shoes during the sale. I would say if you are wanting to get anything at all from the sale, this is a piece that I would highly, highly recommend. Um, it's a good, it's a good price and um, yeah, I just really love it. So if you, if there's one thing that you decide you really just want to get one thing, I cannot recommend this particular thermal enough. It is super soft, cozy, just like the perfect fall shirt. And as I may or may not have mentioned, when I find something I really like, I tend to get it in multiple colors. So this is, I believe the color's called tobacco. Now I have to tell you that this is a little strange because this is also a medium and I feel like it fits 
like a small. It doesn't feel like it fits the same as the other one. This one feels um, smaller, so I don't know what's going on with that. So this one I would probably definitely want to tuck in or something, but yeah, that's a little strange, but I do really, really like this. So I would size, I would say true to size or size up in this, just depending on how much you got going on in here and all of that. So I just wanted to show you the tobacco color of this as well. So this is a top from Free People. Now I love, love, love Free People, but it is so flippin' expensive. It's always just so crazy expensive. So I do like to see what Free People pieces are in the Nordstrom sale each year, and I try to get myself one or two staples that I know I'll wear a ton. I absolutely love this thermally top. I love that it's long enough to cover the booty, so if you wanted to wear it with leggings and some fuzzy boots, like it's good for fall with um, jeans and booties, but in winter you could throw on some leggings and some Ugg boots or something like that, and it would be um, super, super comfortable and cute. Free People stuff runs really big. I'm trying to, yeah, Free People stuff runs really big. So this is a small, I pretty much always Always order smalls in free people um, yeah so just a heads up there with sizing if you're new to that brand but I really really love this I cannot remember the name of the color it's called maybe like cedar or something like that I don't remember it's just super nice to get some free people stuff at a little bit cheaper of a price because it normally is pretty pricey but I love this it's a swingy flowy Okay, so this is by the brand Caslon. Um, this is a different option for a thermal type shirt if you want something that is a little more affordable than the Free People stuff. And um, it is like a little bit see-through, but nothing too crazy. And I just really, it's very soft and comfortable. I will be honest, this is obviously not like the most like fashionable piece, but I really prefer like comfort things because I'm home a lot with my kids and stuff. Like this is totally something that I would just like throw on um, with jeans and some comfortable shoes and I can homeschool, I can go get groceries, I can go do whatever I wanna do and still feel like a little pulled together and you know, semi cute, but not like I, feel like I have to try too hard or anything. And this is a small, and they did have this in multiple colors. It is meant to be kind of oversized and stuff. So I really like this. Okay, so now we're getting into the good stuff, the super good stuff, the sweaters, my absolute favorite. This sweater, y'all, it's like you're wearing a Muppet in the most appe appealing way possible. It's like you're wearing a Muppet. And it has kind of like this big cowl neck and I flipping love this. I really wish I would have ordered other colors. And last time I checked, a bunch of them were sold out, but they usually restock things before the public sale begins um, so that the pre-sale people don't buy it all up and then leave nothing for the public sale. But, oh, guys, I can't even begin to tell you how like soft and cozy this is. I tried to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and get it in a green instead of like a tan or oatmeal color but now I'm secretly wishing I just would have got it in like the oatmeal color too. So it's so comfortable and I love a good cowl neck. Um, there's so many different ways that you can fluff this up and wear it, but I love it, love it, love it. And these are the other pair of AG jeans I got. These are a straight leg. Again, I've worn these a couple times so they're a little stretched out, um, but these are a straight leg jean. I would probably, I don't know if I would actually wear these booties with them or not. These are mine, again, not from the sale, but um, I might wear my other black booties that have more of a pointed heel and toe just um, because I think straight leg jeans look good like that. But I just wanted to show you the jeans. So I really like these pair of AG. Like I said, they just fit me really well. They fit my body type really well. So I'm always on the hunt for good AG jeans and the sale usually has them at a good price. This is another sweater that feels kind of like you skinned a Muppet. It is super, super soft and cozy. I just, I cannot even tell you like how crazy soft this is. I'm hoping the color's kind of coming out true, but it's a very like blush pink. I don't know if you can see the material up close. It is just so fuzzy and soft. I absolutely love this. Now this I got in a small. One thing I tried to do this year was get mostly smalls instead of mediums for my sweaters because a lot of times I'll buy oversized and then they're just way too big through here. So I decided to get smalls this year and in some I kind of wish, oh shoot, I wish I would have got that in a medium, but because it just barely covers my butt 
and I think if I'd have got a medium, it would have covered my butt all the way, and then I would have felt like I could have worn it with more things. It's just my personal preference, but I don't wear sweaters with leggings unless they cover my butt. So I have to wear them with jeans for, for me personally, but ugh, I keep grabbing at my stomach, y'all, because I ate like a giant giant thing of lunch. I had a bunch of chicken and French. I had Zaxby's. Okay. Don't, don't think I had grilled chicken. I had Zaxby's and my stomach is like bloated and hurting. So trying on all these clothes right now was a really stupid idea, but it's okay. We're going to, we're going to keep plugging. Okay. Away. How fun is this sweater y'all? This is very outside of my comfort zone <laughs> as far as the type of sweater, like coloring and stuff. I don't usually do big color block like this. I don't know. I wear a lot of weird things. This is just not something I normally gravitate towards, but I loved the colors in it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. I'm going to try it. And I really like it. I love a good turtleneck. You got to cover up that double chin, you know? Um, and I just think it's super cute. Again, really, really soft. You can see the material there. It's really, really soft. Again, this is one I got in a small. I'm pretty happy with that decision because even a medium wouldn't have been enough to cover my butt. It just would have, again, made it more fabric and bigger and stuff like that. So I like my decision here for a small and I really like this sweater. I think it's absolutely adorable. Okay, so this is one that I'm a little on the fence about. Um, they had this in a cardigan and a sweater and my instincts would be to go for a cardigan but I decided to mix it up and go for the sweater and I just don't know. It's really, really soft. I can't, again, begin to tell you like how soft and cozy the sweater is. That is not the issue. I just, I just don't know. Like part of me really loves it and thinks it would be super cute with black jeans and like my over the knee black boots or something like that and my like a black hat like that I think would be really cute. I don't know. I just don't know if it's too much. I hesitate to ask y'all to tell me in the comments because if I decide to keep it and you're like, oh girl, that's way too much, then every time I wear it, I'm gonna be like, this is the sweater everyone hates. But <laughs> um, anyway, so I, I like it. Oh, I'm just uncertain. It is super, super soft. It's thick. It would be really warm in the winter. So there's some like actual bonuses that are relevant. So I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what y'all think. I'm scared to ask, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, guys, this sweater is right up there for me with me for, nope. This sweater is up there for me with the first two like thermals that I showed you guys as far as like if there's something that you get from the sale, let it be <laughs> one of those things, either that or this. This is like hands down just the most cozy, cozy, cozy sweater of all time. Um, this is kind of like a, I, I don't know how it's coming off on camera exactly, but it is like a very heathered, muted, purpley mauvey color. It might be coming off more brown, but it definitely has kind of like that purpley look to it in person. A big cow neck and I am not hating it. This is, again is not going to be long enough to cover the booty, but that's okay. You could tuck it. I don't know. I never know what things actually look good tucked and what don't, but you could tuck it. It would be really cute if you had some high-waisted jeans or something. So many different shoe options. Dress it down, dress it up. I love this sweater so much. If they have it, um, scoop it up. If you're if you're shopping, scoop this one up. Guys, this outfit. Okay, so this sweater is another free people sweater. <sighs> I'm out of breath from putting these pants on. Give me a second. These are Spanx leggings. We'll get there in a second, but I'm actually out of breath from putting them on. Um, but I own this sweater in a kind of rust orange color that I got last year and it was by far my most favorite most worn sweater and I really wanted it in other colors but they just kept selling out so fast lighting you're killing me right now hold on sorry guys I know the lighting is kind of going in and out but um, they sold out and never came back in stock and I was super bummed this is another free people sweater so it is pricey but Guys, I'm telling you, like for me, something like this that I probably wore 50 or more times is definitely worth it. And I love this like oatmeal color. Um, again, with free people, I always size down. So this is a small and it covers the booty and these leggings. I have waited and waited. Everybody said that these are the best and I just have never bought them, but they were in the sale and I was like, all right, I'm going to give them a try. These are, I mean, I've, I've had, I have Spanx leggings, but I've never had the faux leather ones before. And so I got the faux leather ones in this sale and they are not disappointing y'all. Like 
They suck you in in all the right places. They hold you in in all the right places. I love <laughs> these leggings. Um, yeah, I will be wearing these a ton with sweaters. And these are the only shoes that I got from the sale. Um, they are by the brand, I think it's called Dolce Vite. I own one other pair of shoes from that brand and I really love them, so I thought that I would probably like these too. And I wanted to try the snake print trend, but not get too crazy with it. So I like, oh, here I go, falling over. Um, so I like that these just have kind of a lower heel. Like I said, I don't do big heels. They are super comfortable. They're like perforated at the top so your foot can breathe, um, which I mean, whatever, but <laughs> um, I really like them. This outfit may be much. It might be too much. It might be too much with the leather leggings and the snake print shoes, but what am I if I'm not too much? So this is probably like this whole look right here is like my favorite. Um, I would probably just like wear this every day if I could. Comfortable leggings, cute shoes, and a comfy sweater. Like I would just live in this. So by far one of my favorites. I've got one more look to show you guys and then we will wrap this up. Okay, so I probably should take off the snakeskin boots for this, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave them on. So kind of disregard those because they might not be the best shoe option for this. But I just wanted to show you how wearable these leather leggings can be. This is another just like oversized cardigan um, from the sale. I They have it in like cream and other colors. I decided to go for the gray. It's got the slit up the side, which kind of gives it some movement um, when you're walking as well as like kind of break up your body so you you don't look like such a box, um, but still cover the bootay. So I just wanted to show you, I just put it very simply with like a white t-shirt. I tied mine and I wouldn't normally do that, but I will say we're going to get really personal right now. These Spanx leggings do not give you camel toe. Okay. They just don't. However, they're cut. They don't have the line here. I don't know why leggings makers put a line there. Like, you know what's going to happen to that seam. You know where it's going to go. Why would you put a seam there? So that's my annoyance for the day. However, I keep touching my crop. The, the, whoever makes Spanx leggings is on it. It's probably a woman, not going to lie, because they know not to put a seam right there. So you don't get the, the, the camel toe happening. So I'm okay with wearing a shorter shirt in the front. I still cover my butt just because that makes me comfortable, but I don't feel like I necessarily have to wear a shirt that covers down the front with these. And um, I'll just show you though. You could just... A basic white t-shirt and the leather leggings and a cardigan and you are like cozy chic cute like takes you two seconds to get ready but you do look a little more pulled together and I like that I think I think I'm really digging these leather leggings I probably should have cleaned my mirror so that you could actually see them without the streaks of dirty I'm sorry for that <laughs> next time I'll do better like I said y'all know I'm no professional fashion blogger, vlogger, so you get what you get around here when it comes to fashion and beauty type videos, okay? Okay. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed seeing my personal favorite items from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Um, there's tons of videos about this and it's something that I enjoy watching every year, what other people found and how they style it and that kind of thing. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I know I'm really not like the greatest when it comes to like fashion and beauty stuff, but I just kind of like to share what I wear and how I actually wear it and I yeah I just like to be real about what I'm actually gonna wear so I have seven children so if you're coming here for like high fashion stuff you're not gonna find it but some very basic cardigan mom wear stuff I got your back so that's it for today's video guys I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you again very soon bye